Hi folks, it's Rob White, Challenge Physio, and this is part two of how you can fix acid reflux without medication. I'm gonna show you how a simple mug and your fist can fix that problem. Check this out. In that first video of acid reflux, I explained to you the importance of having a really good dynamic diaphragm, the main breathing muscle at the bottom of your rib cage. In that, it separates from the top part of your thoracic cavity, the rib cage, and the lower part of your abdominal cavity down into your stomach. We looked in detail at how there are three orifices. There's those three hiatuses within the diaphragm that allow things to pass through, hopefully, and get through to the abdominal cavity and beyond. So you'll know now the importance of keeping the diaphragm working properly and specifically we looked at taking some slow, deep abdominal breaths. Well, in this video, I wanna cover that in more detail. I'm gonna show you a few other little hacks that will help your diaphragm to work even better and to perhaps release its tension that's created from it being compressed on a regular basis. Let's go into the exercises. So when you set out to start making a difference to how your diaphragm's working, it makes sense to consider where you're starting from. What's your baseline? How well can the breath get down into the abdominal cavity? There's a great video as I outline abdominal breathing specifically, check that one out. As a recap, this is what we're looking to do. Place one hand on the abdominal cavity. Think about breathing in as slow as you can. The quicker you breathe in, the more likely is that your breath will go down the path of least resistance and where it normally goes. So focus on slow breath in. With practice, it gets easier. Hand on the tummy, trickle the air in either through the mouth or ideally through the nose, but see how you get on and which one you prefer. We trickle it into the abdominal cavity. Let it travel all the way up once you've filled as best as you can. Feel for that rib cage lifting. Top of the breath in, hold, and breathe out. Take a few breaths, observe how this feels. You're looking and feeling for how much the bottom of your rib cage is releasing with the breath in. That is what we're gonna change by doing the release exercises. Let's have a look at them. We all sit for too long. When you sit for a long period of time, the rib cage is compressed, it's pressing down into your abdominal cavity. That position is gonna create tension at the soft tissue across the front of the breastplate, across the front of the rib cage, and down into the bottom where the diaphragm is attached. So here's a great hack to help release that tension. With a light fist, use the end of your fingertips, the knuckles that are facing there, bring it onto your breastplate, apply some pressure, and perform some light circles around the breastplate. Move around, experiment within your own. I warn you, there will be certain points that you feel far more than others. And guess what? Those are the ones to work at more frequently. The pressure that you apply is entirely up to you, but I would suggest it wants to be uncomfortable, not necessarily painful, but it doesn't wanna feel like you're not getting anything from it. By creating some awareness of this area, you're stimulating the blood flow to it, you're releasing the tension that forms as a result of it being compressed for a long period of time. Spend anywhere from 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, rubbing over this space to release the tension. Ooh, much better. Great way to remember this next one is perhaps consider every time you go to grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, you can use this mug to help release the diaphragm and to improve that acid reflux symptom. Make sure the mug is empty and make sure it's not too hot either. Take a hold of the mug, place your hands through the handle and grip it so that you open up the curved space on the other side. You're gonna follow the line across the rib cage at the bottom on either side. Apply circular pressure, again, 
so that you're feeling some discomfort, but you're not feeling pain. Okay, there's a difference. If you get to the level of feeling pain by applying too much pressure, your body will react, it will contract to protect against that pain. So it wants to be uncomfortable. You will find certain points that are more uncomfortable than others. Stick to those and work on those for a bit longer. You'll probably find the more that you try this, going into both sides, you'll find certain positions, certain places that are more receptive to it. And that's purely because creatures of habit, you're in the same posture on a regular basis and it's those areas that are accumulating tension. By rubbing around the bottom of the rib cage, again, you're releasing the tension that has formed that is holding the rib cage down and compressing your diaphragm. This will help you to be able to flare it open again. Enjoy. So if we're conscious that we're rounding off at the shoulders from sitting for long periods during the day, and this is causing the compression of your diaphragm, it makes sense to release the shoulders. There's loads of great content out there that will help you specifically to loosen up your shoulders. But if you wanna keep it simple, something that really does work, and I did a video specifically on this because it is a great exercise for everyone to try, roll your shoulder. Lift it up and roll it back. Roll the dominant side first, the one that you're using most frequently, and then compare it. Compare it with the other side. See which one feels like it will travel the best. The one that's not moving so well, makes sense. Spend more time on that one. You can take your arm and shoulder roll into a full arm swing. And if you want to move through the exercise and release the tension a little bit quicker, why not have a go at pretending that you're doing backstroke swimming? Swing the arms back. You're rotating your trunk and you're releasing your shoulder. Get to the end. If you can, clasp the hands behind your back. Pull the hands down towards your heels and stretch across the front of your chest. Enjoy that stretch. Hold it and see if you can add a breath. The intention being... We're getting the rib cage to flare at the base again. Have a go. This is one of my favorite hacks, okay, for getting this diaphragm to work properly. It will require you to bolster, as in put something underneath you, that is comfortable but effective. Now, I prefer using one of these soft inflatable balls that will give underneath pressure and obviously this has a valve so we can take some air out if we need to release it, if it's too uncomfortable. If that's not available, then I'd simply ask clients to use a towel. Roll up a small hand towel and you're gonna place that in the same place. We're placing these underneath the bottom of the rib cage where we believe as we lay onto it, it's gonna induce a lift. So we can see now a lift at the bottom of the rib cage which is helping to flare the ribs and get the diaphragm to open further. We're gonna take advantage of the ball being here and taking the rib cage into this position. And then I want you to try exactly the same breathing technique that you did earlier. So we're taking a slow breath in. Letting it travel to the rib cage. Holding at the top. And breathing out. Just to show you again. So you're trying to exaggerate the flare of the rib cage as much as you can. Now take advantage of where you practice this. If you're on the floor, absolutely take your arms out wide on the floor and open up the shoulders you know that this is going to aid the rib cage in lifting and stretching. So have a go at stretching the body out. You could also add to this the lengthening of the legs, stretching out of the front of the hips. But to begin with, keep the lever short, the distance of your legs and your arms from your trunk to help you get used to stretching the bottom of the rib cage. Okay, so you've had a run of those release techniques. The intention being 
they are releasing the areas around the rib cage that are most likely to cause tension and block your diaphragm from opening properly, therefore bringing on that acid reflux symptom. Bring it back, come back to the basic breath that you tried at the start before you did your release techniques, see if it feels any better. Let's go through it again. We're taking slow breath down into the abdominal cavity. As it gets to the top part, near to the diaphragm, I want you to let the rib cage flare at the bottom. Continue breathing in as best as you can to allow the breastbone to inflate, the breastbone to lift. At the top of the breath in, I want you to hold your breath for a few seconds. That's important. That allows the diaphragm to be used to that position of opening up. After you've held the breath for a period of time, breathe out. Here we go. So, how should it feel? Obviously, it should feel a little bit easier for the air to travel through your abdominal and thoracic cavity. It should feel simpler for the rib cage to flare at the bottom. However, if you're doing that and you still feel some restriction, if you become more aware of this restriction because of the time spent practicing, feel free, use your hands to gently cup underneath the rib cage. So you're gonna feel for underneath the rib cage and just lightly draw the rib cage away from the waist as you get to that point in the breath. It'll look like this. As we said with previous exercises, don't feel that you need to induce pain. Don't bring pain on. Go for discomfort. If it's painful, your body is going to contract to protect you. So there you have it, guys. There's my advice for very basic release exercises, predominantly focused around the rib cage, in order to allow your diaphragm to function far better. Remember the acid reflux symptom is likely to be caused because your diaphragm cannot function as well as it should. Have a go at these release exercises. Do them as often as you can. Try and break up the day by doing one or two of them. You don't have to do them all together, but every so often go back to practicing that deep abdominal breath. You'll notice that it will start to become easier for the rib cage to flare, and therefore it's gonna be easier for the breath to travel through your body. When that happens, you should start to see that the symptoms of that acid reflux significantly reduce until eventually they are no longer there. I hope the video has helped out. Please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell for the notifications. Give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and by all means share it with anyone else that you know would benefit. Take care.